In 2014, I was campaigning to remain within the UK. What we were promised was to remain in the European Union. That's become a complete uh, fallacy. It's almost like a different era. My name is Mike Daly. Uh, I'm a solicitor advocate in Glasgow. Uh, I work for law centres. I've done so for about 25 years. Law centres act on behalf of uh, the public, ultimately helping people uh, to maximise their rights. In terms of what we want to deliver for social justice, we're probably not actually very different in terms of our aspirations. Where we differ on is do we believe that remaining in the UK uh, with additional powers? In 2014, what was on the table was more devolution, greater powers to the Scottish Parliament. Uh, it's almost like having the best of both worlds was on the table, remaining in the European Union, but having the ability to do things differently in Scotland. The reality is now, after, goodness, what, seven years of austerity, it, it's quite plain to me that we now are in a completely different situation. We had the European uh, referendum in June of uh, last year. Uh, and, I mean, I suppose even before then, uh, I certainly had my doubts about the uh, future of remaining in the UK. But since that point in time, in terms of Brexit, I've certainly been on a journey. It's not been quite the road to Damascus where you just suddenly see a, a blinding light. Um, it's been much more, uh, uh, I think, a gradual process of realising that the future that Scotland has under the Conservatives at Westminster is 15, 20 years of more austerity. Uh, what we've got is the prospect of becoming an insular nation under the Conservatives at Westminster. And I just think that direction of travel that we're looking at uh, is utterly bleak. So from my point of view, I came to the very uh, clear conclusion that we're at a crossroads in Scotland and we have the opportunity to go down a completely different path. And a path, I think, which is an egalitarian Scotland, a Scotland for everybody, so that everybody has got opportunities. Uh, a Scotland that does not indulge in punishing the poor, does not have sanctions that punish people uh, for not uh, being in work. So I think we're going to create a different country. So once you realise that that's the uh, options, um, from my point of view, it became clear to me the, the party that is very much at the, uh, at the vanguard of that is the Scottish National Party and that's why I joined the SNP. I think there is going to be a, a second Scottish independence referendum and I'm very excited about that because instead of having uh, another 20 years of austerity and we've already had seven, I see the, the opportunity for a Scottish independence referendum uh, given Scotland the ability to go down a completely different path. If we don't choose to go down that different path, well, what's the options? The options are to have more austerity, turbocharged austerity under the Conservatives at Westminster. Also, we will be dragged in the direction of travel that the Tories are taking us, which is very much uh, regressive. Uh, it's scapegoating people who are different to us. It's scapegoating foreigners. It's punishing people who are not as uh, well off. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible future. Uh, and I don't want that future for, uh, for my children uh, and we can do something about this.